In this video, we solve problem 11.5.069 from the Larson and Edwards Calculus Early Transcendental Functions text, 7th edition. We're asked to determine whether the planes are parallel, orthogonal, or neither. And we're given this equation of a plane and this equation of a plane. Well, it's easy to determine whether they're parallel, um, orthogonal, or neither just by looking at their normal vectors. Now remember how you find the normal vector for a plane. The components of the normal vector for the plane actually given by the coefficients of x, y, and z due to the way the equation for the plane was formed. Um, so I've got an implied coefficient of one there. So the normal vector for this first plane is six, negative five, and one. And then for the second plane, we can do the same thing, just identify the coefficients. We've got a one, a three, and a nine. Um, so those are, um, the uh, components for that second normal vector. Now we know that the planes are parallel if the normal vectors are parallel. That would mean that one of these vectors was a constant multiple of the other. Well, this cannot be multiplied by a constant to get this. So they're not parallel. Now we can tell if the planes are orthogonal by computing the dot product of the two normal vectors. If the dot product of the normal vectors is zero, it turns out that that means the angle between the two planes is 90 degrees. So we'll take six times one, which is six, and then we'll add negative five times three, which is negative 15, and we'll add one times nine. We actually do get zero. Um, so they are orthogonal to each other, and that means the answer to the second part, which asks us to find the angle between the two planes in degrees is that the angle between the two planes is 90 degrees.